Welcome everyone to the Urban Northwest channel. Today we're going to chat about the ultralight stove. Oh wait, that's not the one. That's the uh, Coal Seal Kudo. The ultralight stove. Look at that. You guys probably seen this online. This is the one from, uh, I think it's China or Hong Kong. Yes, I bought it. It was like five bucks. So it's part of the budget gear type. So... Just a quick disclosure, I bought this about a year ago and I have been using it so obviously this one looks new. Uh, today's uh, um, review, we're going to actually test this out. Uh, we're going to put it through its paces and I'll show you how it looks like over time as well. But uh, real quick specs on here, I'll do the specs now and then we'll do the testing here next. Um, so it has the uh, uh, Pizio electric ignition. So, it's right over here. See? Have you guys see that? Pretty cool. You don't have your lighter, you know. In emergency cases, this can probably fly. If you, for whatever reason, you don't have your lighter or some type of um, um, combustion. Uh, and it has this type of construction here. It has a lot of working parts. So, if you're one of those guys that don't like too much working parts, then uh, this might not be the one for you. Um, I'm okay with it. See, it has it has a uh, a cheap feel to it, but it's whatever. It works. I know that. I've been using it for a year, and I'll show you mine here in a moment. But uh, what else? Uh, this right here, you know, uh, you know, the on and off valve. The on and off valve. It's stiff when you first get it. Um, the the size. It's uh, they. I hate when they put it in the centimeters. It's like you can't figure it out. So I did put it on Google and you know did the did the conversion thing. It's a uh, the size is one and a half inches by two inches by three. So I'm guessing it's one and a half inch somewhere right here and two inches or by three. I don't know how they measured it, but yeah, um, I know the. The cooking area, the fire panel area, that's what they call it, is uh, uh, three and a half inches. So the you know the, the flat surface here where you put your pan and stuff. There you go. Um, overall weight, it is 122 grams. That is 4.3 ounces. So that bad boy is light. 4.3 ounces. Um, with the case that it came with here, let me show you the case. Put this aside here for now. Um, the case it came with is this little orange case. I guess orange is cool. I mean, so, you know, like a survival orange. Not really survival orange. Kind of like a, like a, I don't know, different shade of orange. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it works. It fits in there, just like so. Let me show you how it looks real quick here. Then we'll continue on our uh, our testing of it. So fits like in, just like that. You know, just like any uh, type of uh, small pocket rocket type of deal that you may have well there it is so uh, let's go ahead and continue on with our uh, testing of it uh, we're gonna do uh, servo testing so hang in there okay let me just readjust the camera so I got it all connected and uh, let's go ahead and turn it on real quick here let's go low low settings first there you go that's how low looks like you guys can see that uh, through the black background right here. Now let's put it on high. And my uh, my fuel is about halfway full. The uh, the Snow Peak Giga Power acceptable uh, uh, propane mixture. So uh, for some of you guys, there you go. So let's go ahead and turn it off and then. Um, so you see how like the height of this, I guess, I don't know uh, if that matters. But I'm not gonna go with technical, uh, do a bunch of measurements. We are just only heating up water when we're out in the wilderness or just cooking a small amount of food, right? Um, I really don't know if you're gonna cook a lot of food on this thing. I wouldn't anyways. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna turn it off and then uh, let's go ahead and readjust the, uh, the scene here for our next uh, testing. All right, I got my uh, my stuff all set up here. So we're gonna do a uh, a boil test, a one cup boil test. Um, we're gonna use the uh, Coglin cup. 
Okay, uh, we're going to use for our measurement cup is the uh, uh, KitchenAid one cup here, and we're going to use water, of course, right? So, um, let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. You're wondering why I got a clock on the table, so we can kind of measure the time frame. I'm not really into like precise, but it's whatever, right? So, you know, precise time, I'm trying to say. So I'll pour one cup of water. So there's like, there it is, one cup of water. Put it in the cup. There you go. So I'll start, I normally start it on a low flame first. And then uh, I'll go ahead and just drink it after that, okay? So there it is. It's at, uh, looks like at 10.45. Uh, I'll turn it on now, okay? There we go, it's going. So now we just, uh, we just wait, okay? All right, look at that, it's boiling already. And uh, the time like, moved like two minutes or whatever. So, well, there it is. Um, it boils one cup of water fairly quick. Um, and really that's all I kind of need for like breakfast, right? Okay, let's turn it off here. Let's see some, uh, some gas. There it is. Look at that. Simple as that, guys. All right, what's next? Let's go ahead and uh, reorganize everything and uh, I'll do a more of extreme test here. All right, so this next part here, I won't actually recommend you guys do this part um, just because uh, you know it may damage your gear. I bought three, so I and it's like five bucks. So I was like, whatever for me. But um, you know, your dollars may vary. Uh, so here it goes. So this is the old one, right? So this is the one I've been using uh, for the past year or so. I think it's actually going over a year, believe it or not. Uh, but here it is, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and dunk this bad boy in the water. There we go, let's do this. So, there you go, there it is. So, that can show that, say for example, you drop your, your gear in the water, in the river, you picked it up. Does it still work, right? It, it has a piezo uh, electrical spark um, uh, mechanism there, so will it be compromised? Let's take a look, let's go ahead and dump some more water on top. So we don't have no uh, skeptic that it's uh, not in water all the way. <laughs> there you go. Shake it, maybe. Shake it, right? Shake it in there. There you go. So I think it's still going to work. I This is my first time actually doing this to that, that thing. So so I'm going to take it out now, okay? I mean, how long do you want to put leave it in there? Soak it up? I mean, it is metal, right? There's nothing. It's not like meat. You can't marinate it, right? So... Let's go ahead and uh, technically you can't. Uh, there you go. So uh, if it gets wet, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to rust, right? Obviously, you guys saw some rust. So I'm shaking it out. So giving it a, a chance to actually start. If I leave the water in there, obviously, it's not going to start, right? You know, you want your gear to work. Let's see what happens after it gets dunked, right? So that's why I got the towel here so I can shake it out. All right, you know, and just shake it out. We won't shake everything out, right? And you know, after, after you know, it gets dunked, uh, say you don't have a, a towel and you, you're trying to boil some water like now, right away. Um, there you go. So, seems like everything is there. The piezo part. Oh, look like it's still working. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like a good sign. Let's go ahead and, and uh, twist this bad boy right here. I noticed it's easier just to twist this instead of twisting the, uh, the stove. All right, so here we go. This is for you guys. Oh my gosh, that thing still works. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there goes a little break in the, uh, the gas, maybe the water. The water's trying to melt out. I mean, uh, dissolve. Let's see if I can turn it higher. There you go, now it's working now. Uh, a little rough start, but hey, it started. Look at that. Five bucks. It's five dollars. Can't beat five dollars. You want to 
buy something for like 50 bucks, go right ahead. This is five dollars. All right, buy 10 of these <laughs> for 50 bucks. Just saying. There you go. Um, let's turn it down. Let's see how it does in the uh, uh, low setting. Oops, oh, it's way up right now. That's low setting here. There you go. Low setting works still. Look at that. I want to boil more water. Obviously, we know it's going to boil. It actually loosen, loosen everything up. Probably got cleaned. <laughs> there you go. I mean... Well, there it is. That's the uh, ultralight from China or Hong Kong, five bucks, portable stove. Um, what do you guys think? It doesn't pass. It is a budget gear. So I think in my book, in my opinion, it does pass. So, well, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, for watching this uh, video. Um, I, and I know I'm not going to edit a lot of these things here, so it's kind of just how it is. So, so then you know it's a, the real deal. Uh, plus, uh, if you do it perfect the first time, you don't have to edit too much. That's what I've discovered. But other than that, there you go. Um, thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you share. Um, helps out the channel a lot. You know, uh, the more viewers I get, the more uh, how do you say inspirational my uh, my videos get to as well. All right. Um, thank you. You guys have a good day.